Hi guys, and today we're going to be talking about how to update Cyanogen mods once you've got it installed in your phone. So here I've got a Galaxy S2 and if we go down to about phone we can see what version of Cyanogen mods we're currently running. This is the September the 16th build and you can see here it says it's the September the 16th nightly. So the most straightforward way to update your version of Cyanogen mods is to simply go to the about phone section and then tap Cyanogen mod updates and here we can press the refresh button to get the latest versions that are available. Because this is the Galaxy S2 there aren't any stable versions available so make sure you've got nightlies selected on update types and there's three different types of icon here so this shows that we've got the current version installed this little icon means that we've got that version downloaded already, ready to install, and these arrows allow us to download later versions. So I'm just going to cancel that right now. But you can also click on each version to see the change log, which is basically a list of all the changes that are introduced in that particular nightly. Anyway, updating your version of Cyanogen mod is really, really simple. All you have to do is click the little button here. It will ask you whether you want to apply the update. You tap OK and it will automatically reboot your phone into recovery, flash the update across and everything should happen automatically. So let's just see how well this works for us now. The phone's booting up again. The update is being applied. It should be quite quick, as it's just flashing a zip file across. And now we are done, the phone will just reboot back into Cyanogen mod. Now every time you apply an update, it has to go and update all the apps as well which means that the boot sometimes takes a little bit longer than usual. But don't worry, all subsequent boots will be as fast as they usually are. And there you have it. So we should be able to find that if we go check about phone now, we're currently running the version of Cyanogen mods we just flashed across. So there you go, that's the simplest way of doing it. There's also another method. And that's to manually flash the zip. And this is actually the safest way of doing it. So in order to do this, we need to reboot into recovery. So it's the same as last time. You just need to hold down the home key, the power key, and the volume up key at boot. Hold them down until you get into recovery. And then you can just go install update from zip. There's actually an even easier way with Cyanogen mod and that's by using the reboot into recovery menu option. So to get this you have to hold down the power key and then press reboot. However this option isn't available until you've unlocked developer mode. So to do that you need to tap the build number I think about seven times and then if you go back into your phone settings You'll see we've now got developer options. And one of those options is advanced reboot. So when I've got that selected, now when I go to the power menu and I press reboot, I've got a choice of download of rebooting into download mode, recovery mode, or just a regular reboot. So we're going to reboot into recovery. And it saves the trouble of having to hold down these keys to reboot into recovery. So we should find that it boots automatically into Clockwork Mod Recovery. And there you go. So now installing an update to Cyanogen Mod is as simple as just clicking on Install Zip, navigating on your SD card to the correct location. So here, mine are going to be stored in CM Updater. And then I can choose, let's go back to the 16th again. So I just click that and then press install and it will go ahead and start installing for us. 
So it's flashing the update in exactly the same way as it was before, it's just a little bit less automated. But this is a safer way because there's nothing that can possibly go wrong. And there you go, all done. You just need to go back and then you can reboot the system now. So once again, the flash has been completed and your phone will just reboot back into Cyanogen mod. And once again, it's going to have to update or upgrade all the apps to optimize them for the current builds that you're running. And if we go to the settings and look at about a phone, once again we'll see that we flashed back to the previous version of Cyanogen Mods, 16th of September. So there you go. So the final way of updating your version of Cyanogen Mods to the latest nightly is to use this program called Cyan Delta, which you can just download from the Play Store. So we can just simply press here and choose an existing zip file. I'm going to choose this one. It's going to verify it and import it. And the way Cyan Delta works is that it analyzes this zip file of the version of Cyanogen mod that you've already downloaded and it compares it to the more recent version that you might want to update to. And just by looking at the difference, it only downloads the bytes in that zip file that have changed. Because Cyanogen mod is being updated fairly frequently, especially when we're looking at the Samsung Galaxy S2 that has nightly releases, obviously a huge amount of the code base is going to remain exactly the same from one version to the next. So once this is imported, we'll see that we've now imported the 16th of September, and rather than downloading hundreds of megabytes to get the new version, we can just download the difference, which is now only 16 megabytes. So this will be, hopefully, a lot quicker than it would have been. So Cyanogen Mods has looked at the zip file we've already got on our phone and the zip file on the server. It's downloaded in what's called the Delta file, which is just the file that contains all the differences or the deltas between the two files. And this is really, really useful if you want to just save time or especially if you're going to use mobile data to download Cyanogen Mod updates and you've got a limited plan or an expensive data plan. Even if you've got Wi-Fi and you've got a limit on that, it's going to save you a lot of time and trouble. So the zip has now been successfully updated. We can either go and browse this, that will be in the it'll be in the Cyan Delta folder on your SD card, and we can install it through recovery as previously, or you can even install it directly through Cyan Delta just by hitting install zip. And this is going to reboot us into recovery and apply the zip automatically. So just press OK and it will automatically reboot your phone. I'm going to have to give it root access because I haven't done that before, but that's simple enough. And then the phone reboots automatically into recovery. And we should find that just as before, here you go, so Cyan Delta's got this special script that applies the update through Clockwork Mod Recovery for you. And as before, it just takes less than a minute, probably. And so there we go. It's all installed. It's just going to restart the phone automatically for us. And we should see it booting in to the most recent version of Cyanogen Mod. Okay, and there we go. So, what we should be able to find is that Cyan Delta has updated us to the latest version of Cyanogen Mod. And there you go, we're running the 19th of September version, which is today's nightly. So three easy ways to upgrade your Samsung Galaxy S2 
to the very latest version on CyanogenMod. Thanks for watching guys, let me know if you've got any questions in the comments below.